recording myself now. So um, I'm going to adjust this a little bit. Um, I don't know what went out live, so hopefully nobody saw like any hangers or spinach in my teeth. I haven't eaten spinach today, so it shouldn't be the case. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it was fine. Um, we can start with our planned questions, and then as people ask questions in the chat, I'll read them to you um, so that okay. we can make sure we answer live questions too, which is always a lot of fun. Awesome. I, I do have one quick question. I'm mm -hmm. so sorry. No problem. Should I put my phone on speaker as well? And so when my video goes out, you can hear me and you? Um, yeah, maybe you can try that. Okay, I'm going to try it. If it doesn't work, we're back to this plan because this works. Okay. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put it on speaker. Okay. Can you hear me okay? I can hear you perfectly. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Um, Yay! We have a workable solution. Okay, well, Nicole said the word no in the chat. So, um, maybe she doesn't want you to be on speaker? No, that's fine. If she doesn't, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, she said we'll get feedback, so. Right, I was worried about that, so yeah, that's, that's cool. Okay. I'm taking you off the speaker. Okay. Nicole is amazing. <laughs> yes. Without her, I would absolutely give up. <laughs> um, I know, Suzanne, I am so sorry. You don't need I need to apologize, for really. It, it's so over. We're interviewing, and everything's fantastic. Um, cool. So okay. I want to know um, when and how did you start the Tracy Anderson method? Okay, so I do have notes for this um, that, because I wanted the long, winding road to tell you so you kind of know about me. Um, I always did sports in school. I think I could swim before I could walk. <laughs> um, I was probably even dancing before I could walk. Um, I took soccer and basketball and baton and gymnastics and that sort of thing. So I've always been very active. Um, I just got nervous all of a sudden. I guess, <laughs> I guess the, uh, the uh, calm down from the whole technical, logical stuff, but Anyhow, um, I was a cheerleader my freshman year in college, um, and then I kind of got out of doing too much physical. I took some dance classes here and there, um, and then I got married, and I settled into married life and into work life, and I, I just, I, I didn't, I wasn't super active. I would do VHS tapes, if you can believe it, DVDs. Um, I worked out on the Nintendo Wii. Um, that was probably the more recent thing that I was doing right before I started Tracy. Um, it was fun. It sounds really, <laughs> I don't know, amateur. <laughs> I don't know working out on the Nintendo Wii. But um, I love the Zumba world, um, so some dance type stuff. Um, and then, let's see, one of my friends mentioned Jillian Michaels. And um, so I got one of her DVDs. I, I was in, like, Kohl's or something, and I saw it, and I got it. And it was fine, but it was the traditional squats and that sort of thing, and it just wasn't my jam, you know? <laughs> I wasn't enjoying it. So my hairdresser happened to mention Tracy Anderson when I would get my hair one day, get my hair done one day, and um, she really loved what she was telling me about. She had seen the infomercial that um, that Tracy thought that different workouts should work for different people's bodies. And I thought that was really cool, and I was intrigued. And so I looked into it. I ended up getting some DVDs just from Target and stuff like that. Um, I did just those little DVDs off and on, um, starting probably in 2016, I think. Um, I had some family stuff going on, and it was sad stuff that we don't have to go into, but um, I, for Christmas in 2016, I asked a friend to go with me to a fitness martial uh, dance cardio concert in March of 2017. So if you don't know who the fitness martial <laughs> is, you can go on YouTube and search him. He does like all along type dances. Um, not instead of your Tracy Anderson, but it is a fun cardio, dance cardio thing. So um, that was 
was really fun. It really got me thinking um, that I needed to continue dancing. And I knew that Tracy Anderson stuff was very dance inspired. And I don't mean just the dance cardio. Um, all of the movements are so dance inspired, you know, reaching out your fingertips and reaching out your toes and all that kind of stuff. The posture and building the core, um, it's all very dance inspired. I gotta get a sip of water. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's okay. Hot and melt. Yeah. <laughs> 
seeing I started seeing line, muscular lines so in my arms on the side of my leg. I remember having shorts on and driving somewhere to get lunch or something. And I looked down and I had this line on the side of my leg and I'm going, that wasn't there before. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't think I've ever had that. And so I even took a picture, I think. So <laughs> you like, that was super exciting. Um, if you follow me, <laughs> you can see that I posted um, a butt picture, actually. Um, so my, my bum has lifted quite a bit, um, in my personal opinion. You know, we talk about that line underneath. Mm -hmm. um, I'm starting to see those things. Um, my lower back, I feel like, is a lot stronger. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, actually, because my waist has come in there, that it also, I also have that definition from the back, from my back to my butt, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Definitely. So, um, <laughs> Um, I, I think my thighs have gotten a little smaller, um, but beyond just the physical things that you can see, I feel stronger. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, I just it's mental and physical, of course, but just I feel like I'm not worried about can I lift this whenever mm -hmm. I need to lift or whatever, because yeah. I'm stronger. Yeah. Um, I feel like my balance is better. Um, I remember one time I was squatting down to pick something up, and I had some bags and stuff on my shoulders, and my boss said, wow, your balance is really good, and I thought, you know what, it really is. <laughs> so I was really happy about that. Yeah, um, I also, I really love the thought of how consistent exercise helps you, your hormones balance, mm -hmm. it helps your, all your systems, your circulatory system, um, mm -hmm. all, of, all of those things, your lymph system. Yep. So um, I really like to think about that for myself because it's not so much about just what you see on the outside. Mm -hmm. I know that help, I'm healthier physically mm -hmm. um, on the inside. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> those are kind of the physical things. Mm -hmm. As far as mentally, um, I think I feel clearer in my thoughts. Mm -hmm. um, when I'm working out, I'm not having to think about 10 other things <laughs> where in my daily life, you know, I'm on the phone and then somebody walks up and I need to talk to them and, mm -hmm. you know, there's 10 things going on all the time. Mm -hmm. And so when I'm working out, I'm working out and I can have that mental clarity for myself. Mm -hmm. So um, I feel like I get ideas better that way um, in the same way that if you can't think of somebody's name, for example, <laughs> you, um, you know, three hours later when you're not even thinking about it, their name pops in your head. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of like that thing. It's like my brain gets to relax. Right. And so I can get ideas. Um, I've come up with, you know, like, oh my gosh, why haven't I gotten together with this one person? <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. um, just while I'm working out, it's just because I haven't had the moment to think about it. Right. Yeah, um, that's a really good point. Yeah. And then I feel like, of course, I've, I've pushed out of my comfort zone a little bit. So, um, you know, posting on Instagram, I feel everybody talks about, I didn't want to do it at first, and I was nervous, and I remember posting something like, sorry about my cleavage showing in this, <laughs> in this particular <laughs> video, um, but I kind of got it over, over that, it just happened, you know? <laughs> yep. um, and uh, back to talking about when I was noticing my shoulders and stuff, mm -hmm. I think I appreciate my body more. Not, again, not just how it looks on the outside, but just what my body can do. Right. Um, you know, you look at these moves that Tracy's doing, and it's like, there is no way I can yeah. do that. And then you do it, and it's amazing, and you kind of are, you have that moment of, like, confidence in yourself going. Yeah. Um, and not to be a creeper at all, but um, and I also appreciate other people's bodies. Mm -hmm. You know, I look at... I look at you, Tampa Suzanne, and you're, you're, I know you've been working so hard, and you're looking so good, uh -huh. and I'm so excited for you, and I know the work that you've had to put in the defense, uh -huh. and so I can appreciate that. Uh -huh. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's an excellent point. Finally, I would say, my, another result is um, socially. I love family. <laughs> I mean, you guys are my people. Yeah. <laughs> Besides home and work. Um, and, you know, friends that I talk to from school and that kind of thing, but family are my, are my friends. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like socially I've got that connection Absolutely. that I didn't have before. Yep, 
And it's amazing when you can have that in something that's wellness related. Like, because we all need uh-huh. that, but when it actually is also attached to, you know, improving our overall wellness, it's amazing. Like, definitely. Yeah. I totally agree with you. Like, it's work, home, family, friends, but family every day. Um, so we have a couple of questions for you coming in the chat. Obviously, we have more planned questions, but um, yeah. a couple from the chat from Tam in Toronto. Um, she would yeah. like to know, what are your favorite feel-good songs, and what is something that's on your bucket list? Oh, my goodness. Okay. Hi, Haley. <laughs> Thank you for the question. Um, okay. My favorite feel-good songs. I... I thought a little bit about this, because <laughs> I don't have just a favorite song, because it totally depends on my mood. Mm-hmm. Um, I can be in the mood for 80s, mm-hmm. um, I love Dave Matthews Band, mm-hmm. um, I love Bare Naked Ladies, mm-hmm. but then I can switch over and like, listen to Beastie Boys, <laughs> you know, there's, um, if, if you go back in my feed and see some of the songs that <laughs> I dance to, it's just, it's whatever strikes me in the moment. Um, I love that by doing Tracy, I've gotten back into more current music. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that I liked Taylor Swift. I know that's kind of controversial. Some people hate that, but (laughs) (laughs) Um, I didn't know that I liked her, and now I do. And so, um, you know, I I like uh, Imagine Dragons. Um, Let's see, what was I I having on recently? I don't even remember. I just heard on the radio these days. Mm-hmm. Um, I know the beat might not mess, match up with my workout, mm-hmm. um, but those are those are some of my some of my favorites. Some some oldies. Yeah. <laughs> it's sad to think that the things that we grew up with are oldies now. Oh, I know. Someone said the other day that Rage Against the Machine is twenty five years old, and I was like, "You've got to be kidding me!" <laughs> like, I know. Ah, crazy. I know it is. <laughs> so she asked about my my bucket list. Yes. Um, I definitely want to travel, and I don't travel anymore. <laughs> I am planning a trip to California oh. next summer. Okay. So, um, I'm hoping, it's going to be really busy while I'm there, but I'm hoping that we can do a, a meetup, hopefully, mm-hmm. even if it's just for, like, coffee or something like that. Yeah. Um, but I definitely have traveling on my bucket list, and Haley's in Canada, so I guess I need to make my way to Canada. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Tan meetups everywhere. Um, we yeah. do have another question in the chat um, from Tam Menopausal, and she would like yeah. to know, are you as happy as you look on your videos? <laughs> Hi, Deb. Um, yes, I, I, am, I am a very optimistic person. Um, I tend to be very happy. Um, my mother-in-law used to say that when she first met me, I was smiling, and she knew that I was the one. <laughs> and so um, I, I'm always very smiley. I'm, I'm very friendly. Um, my friend at work tells me, though, that when I show her the videos of me dancing, that I, she can see me glow <laughs> when I dance. She said that's when I'm my happiest. Mm-hmm. So... I am a generally happy person, and I'm happiest when I'm dancing. That's awesome. That's so cool that you can have that as part of your fitness, um, that it makes you that happy. So, obviously, you do dance cardio. Um, What's your routine around that? Like, how often and how much? And then what do you do for um, the muscular structure, like beginners or INC or attain? Yes. Well, unfortunately, I'm not streaming yet. I'm still doing DVDs. I'm doing continuity. Oh, good. Um, and so I do that for my muscular structure. And then dance cardio, I try to get in about two to three days a week. Um, and that can range. I mean, it's a huge range mm-hmm. from five minutes to an hour. And just depending on how much time I have, what time I get started, and when lunch is ready. <laughs> so, um, I try really hard to get about an hour in at least per week. Okay. Um, I would really rather do more, but um, at least an hour a week. And then you 
are you doing the continuity muscular structure every day, or what's your routine with that? I, I try, I, I really can't do it every single day. I would love to, um, and I know that's a really lame answer because, you know, we can all figure out where to fit it in. Because, like your sign says, um, there are busier people, people than me that are working out right now. <laughs> um, but on days that I can't get it in, um, I'll try to do the mat standing arms okay. and abs. That's a good idea. Or one of the... Um, the leg sections, mm -hmm. just because I can do that at my desk at work. Oh, okay. And so, you know, during my lunch break or whatever, mm -hmm. I can squeeze those in as much as possible. That's excellent. Um, so, obviously, you know, we watch your dancing videos, and we know you're pretty consistent with the method. Um, who in the family inspires you? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, just like everybody says, it's every single person in the family. Um, I mean, seriously, the family is amazing. <laughs> but I did write down some names. Um, I split these into two categories. I said um, the inspiration, inspirational family that has already been interviewed, and then I have some inspiration family that should be interviewed in my personal opinion. All right. <laughs> so um, the people that have already been interviewed, um, Adina Joe, Logan or Shine, Jen, um, Emily Hansen, Catherine Ross, I just commented her on Facebook, <laughs> I think I shocked her, um, because she's smoking hot, but anyway, Pamela <laughs> Malaysia, of course, Miriam, um, Katie Insta Tam, Tana Toronto, um, Tertam's sister, Ange, um, I just sent her an email, I think I may have shocked her as well. <laughs> Um, happiness through Tam, Natalia, non-glam Tam, Jessica, um, Mountie Fit, Sass Tam, Cassie, uh, Blanche Forbes, Colleen, mm -hmm. Tam Menopausal, Deb, who asked a question, and then if I'm looking for inspiration for improving my, um, form, mm -hmm. I always look at Kim Tamley. <laughs> I think her form is just... I don't know. It's just amazing yeah. to me. Not that anybody else is, is bad. I just, I know hers was consistently uh -huh. just on point. Yeah. So those are people that have already been interviewed. <laughs> and then um, I was also thinking about people that I think should be interviewed. I know there's some people that um, post every day, and then there's people that post every once in a while, mm -hmm. or people that have had babies recently, and so they're just starting back, mm -hmm. or things like that, and so um, some of the people that I that I think of are um, Always a New Day, Kimberly, mm -hmm. um, Sun Tan Life, Michelle, Gipper Smith, Karen, um, she just posted a dancing video, I didn't get to watch it yet, so I want to go back and watch that one, mm -hmm. um, Melissa Ann, B6, you haven't inter interviewed Maybell yet, have you? No, but I think Maybe. that she's on the list for us to ask. Yay, good. Okay, cool. Um, Erin Correll, Fit Life. Mm -hmm. Iva Tam. She has Tam, Sherry, Eva Palco, um, Fit Fits Girl, Courtney, Barbara Balance. I, I think she may be doing some other stuff, too, because okay. I think she has, has some, some health problems, but okay. um, she's awesome. Um, Dance Move Shake Ashley, mm -hmm. she just had a baby. Yeah. Um, bonus, you can have Shanti on too. Yeah. <laughs> um, Melissa Lloyd, Tam, Shannon C. Tam, Lala Loves Tam, Laura, um, Brayden, B. Tam B. Mm -hmm. I know that Tam Malaysia bugged him, and he finally posted something recently and said he was still doing Tracy, so um, he's amazing. <laughs> and then one person that I don't know if she was doing it, um, but she's hilarious. Um, Tan isn't funny, but I am. Oh my gosh. I, I just, she just makes me laugh every single time that I get to see her. But she hasn't been posting much, so I hope she's still doing Tan. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to bombard you with like a hundred names, but no, I really tried to narrow list. it down. Yeah, we love it. We love it. You might need to email that list to us. For us to make yeah, sure I definitely will. Yeah. that we ask all Absolutely. of them. Um, but yeah, I think at least some of them are um, already on the list for us to ask as well. 
Awesome. Um, so do you have any workout partners that you have uh, worked out with to the method in, in person? I haven't. Um, I would love to. I went live one time and did arms, Ooh. and I thought this would be awesome mm -hmm. to be able to do that <laughs> with somebody. Um, but no, I haven't. I really want to. Um, if you if you follow me, you will see that my dog is usually in the room with me, so that's really my only partner. <laughs> they make good workout partners, though. <laughs> yes, definitely. Um, have you ever met Tracy? I have not. I would love to, um, but just like everybody says, I think I'd be totally starstruck. <laughs> um, but yes, I would love to. Um, have you ever been to a Vitality Week or a studio? I haven't, but hopefully this summer, maybe. I'm crossing my fingers. Yeah, especially if you go to California, you can definitely do a meetup at a studio, for sure. Yes, yes. Um, what would be your advice to someone that's new to the method? There's so much. Um, I feel like I, I, you know, I've been doing this for a year and a half, two years, and I feel like I learn things every single day. So there's so much to learn, and I would tell somebody new, don't be overwhelmed by that. But what I would recommend is take before pictures. I know it's hard. You don't want to look at yourself maybe in a bikini or whatever. I certainly didn't. Um, but you can't go back and take that picture later. Right. So I, that's one thing that I would say. Please take a, a, you don't even have to call it a before picture, just a results picture, whatever. You don't even have to go back and look at it. But have it so that you can go back and look at it. Yeah. Yeah, because there's things that change that you might not even realize unless you look at that picture. Like, it really, uh -huh. it, it, that does make a big difference for just knowing your results. And then um, other things would be to definitely get on, um, you know, Facebook, um, the Tracy Anderson Community Group. Um, if you're doing the DVDs, there's the Pam Cocoon, um, so you can, you know, meet up with people that are also doing DVDs. Mm -hmm. There's a TAM streaming page, but I know that's controversial right now, so we don't have to talk about that. But um, <laughs> the TAM streaming page on Facebook, and um, then, of course, Instagram, because the Instagram community is amazing and super positive. Um, and then there's the um, We Are TAM Nation. I think mm -hmm. the website yep. is TAM-Nation. Yep. There's a ton of information on there. So if you're, if you're new and you're looking for information, they have equipment ideas, uh, wardrobe ideas. I mean, there's all kinds of stuff on there, so I would highly recommend that. Excellent. Um, we have another question in the chat from Always a New Day, and she yes. would like to know, um, you're such a good dancer. Were you a dancer before? So I think you mentioned, like, you were always active and everything. Yes, yes. Hi, Kimberly. Thank you so much for the question. She's so super supportive um, and always like sending me little emoji comments, Aww. and I love that. Um, yes, I've been a dancer. Um, I started dancing super young. Um, I kind of got out of it while I was doing other sports, but then I was on drill team in high school. Um, I actually wanted to go try out for the Kilgore Rangerettes um, my freshman year in college, but I got sick. I had mono, and I wasn't able to try out. So, anyway, I was a cheerleader for my freshman year in college, and then I just took dance classes here and there after that. Well, you definitely are a good dancer. There's, like, a faction of us that are the dance cardio club, and the faction right. that are the no dance cardio club, and that's the side <laughs> I'm on. But it's always inspiring to see your videos. <laughs> Oh, well, thank you so much. Thank you. It's, it's super fun for me and to have um, the family be supportive and to kind of give me somebody to perform for is just amazing. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't just, you know, if I was just doing this in my house by myself, it'd be so easy to yeah. just not perform it. Yeah. And so I think that's one so, such a good thing about Instagram and posting on Instagram. Not that you have to be fake, but you have somebody to perform for. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. It makes a huge difference. Yes. Um, have you faced 
any challenges in doing the method? I think we all do, and I think that's an amazing thing to know is that you can look at people that have been doing the method for 10 years, and they're still facing challenges. So I think that's awesome <laughs> to know. But um, I would say my number one challenge is just interruptions when I'm working out, which sounds really sad. <laughs> but um, just, you know, the phone rings or I'm in the middle of a dance routine and I'm really in the zone, you know, and somebody walks in the room and it's just like, I, I try not to get frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, but I think the number one thing would be interruptions. And then um, just physically, I think um, I have big thighs. But, you know, I, I just, I, I've done a lot of um, other workouts and that kind of thing, and so I have big legs. Um, and so things like um, grabbing my toe behind me on all fours, yeah. it's challenging <laughs> to grab yeah. my toe. I can do it, but um, it, it's challenging. And then the other, um, other specific move for that is when you're on all fours and you cross the working leg knee behind the other knee, mm -hmm. and she like sets her knee down on the ground like they're crossed. Mm -hmm. I think my legs are just too big sometimes. I can do it, <laughs> but um, it just it feels like it's a challenge for me. Yeah, there's definite, um, it's not even just like flexibility and strength and stuff, but because she's smaller, there are like ways she can do things that I'm like, oh, that is not happening that way for me. <laughs> but you realize like as you keep doing it, like, those things get better. Like, you know, I mean, I remember that one knee couldn't touch the floor when I crossed my legs the way you were talking about before, and now that knee can touch the floor. Like, it, and it might take, you know, a few years, but you're building yeah. that strength and, you know, um, also, like, getting more slender in different areas, like, makes a difference with that, too, and it just happens over time, but... Yeah, it's like one day, you know, you'll be like, oh my gosh, I did that move that way, and it didn't used to happen that way. Like, and you think it's impossible, but you yeah. really do get to a point that it's like, oh my gosh, I'm accomplishing something that seemed unachievable before. Yes, and I think, like, like we talked about, I think that's another really cool thing about Instagram, is you can go back to watch mm -hmm. an old move of yours and think, I couldn't do that before, and yeah. now I can. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. Awesome. Exactly. It's amazing. Um, what is something that you have learned from Tracy? Oh, my gosh. So, so many things. Um, and I'm going to get teary trying to say this, but um, <laughs> I'm joking up. Uh, one of her things is don't make yourself small. Noxious. 
Jesus loves so much it's impossible. And don't you ever feel unintelligent. And don't you ever apologize. And don't you ever shrink so small so you can squeeze yourself into small places and small minds grow. It's a big world. There's room. And you fit. No, it's really, really powerful, and it's something that, you know, I'm glad that that message comes from Tracy, too, but through a lot of things, like, take up space, have a voice, like, you have to do those things, and, you know, I don't know why, but it's the way that society has been, and especially for a lot of women, and some, you know, just if they happen to have a little bit of a shyer personality or a more introverted personality, it can affect them even more but it's amazing to like get to know ourselves in a physical way and in a mental way through this method and to take that into action in other places I mean it's a perfect perfect quote for this and I think about that too even about like throwing my arm over the back of the chair in like a meeting like be bigger, be part of, you know, what you're doing, be more important, like, you're there for a reason, you know, you don't need to shrink, you need to take up space and be present. Yes, absolutely. So we need you to email yes. that quote as well, and then we can post <laughs> yes. it on the Ask Tamley page. <laughs> yes, I'm a person that cannot talk and cry at the same time, so I'm sorry <laughs> that that was so shaky, but um, I thought it was really important uh, that, you know, other people hear that too, because I know it's not just me that, that, that feels that way, so, um, yeah, hopefully the family knows, don't make yourself small. <laughs> Definitely. Um, what is some advice that you've received from someone in the family that has been impactful to you? Yes. So I thought a lot about this because, again, the family is so amazing about motivating and passing along tips. And I think this tip actually came from probably like the um, China Connect, maybe. Um, and Miriam was the one that passed it along. Um, and she basically said, I, I can't quote it, but it was something about how the last reps are even more important than the first reps. And so, sorry, I'm at the office and the phone's ringing. <laughs> um, but the, that the that you you know you're tiring out that muscle, and so when you do the first ten, yes, those are important because you've got to tire out that muscle. But then the further along you get in that series is when you're really making a change. And so I think that's really important to remember. Not that we have to get you know every single rep in. Right. But every single run that you can get in is even more important than the last one. So yeah. I, the quote that I found online was, um, <laughs> sorry, when you're feeling tired, keep going. That's the only way to truly get stronger. Mm -hmm. So I really like that, that yeah. idea of it helps motivate me to push and get all the reps in that I can. Yeah, definitely. And sometimes just thinking about that is the thing that, keeps you going you know if you think yeah. I'm going to do as many as I can you're only going to get so yeah. many but if you think these are making a difference like it gives you that you know additional mental push that you need because your body can do anything that your mind decides it can do it's really just right. your mind that you have to um, overcome yes definitely um Okay, let me check if we have any questions in the chat. I don't see any right now, but of course you guys can type some in. We have answered a bunch of the ones that we planned. Um, so your quote that you shared is the motivational quote you wanted to share, right? Or did you have another one? I actually do have another oh, okay. one. And it's funny, so okay. I don't have to tear up on this one. <laughs> um, so yes, the motivational quote that I love um, somebody in the family recommended watching the Brene Brown special on Netflix. Okay. Um, and I was like, I don't even know who that is. And I watched it, and it was awesome. Um, and I found 
this quote. I think I may have even found this quote before I knew who she was. <laughs> but um, it's the quote is, midlife, when the universe grabs your shoulders and tells you, I'm not effing around here, use the gifts you were given. <laughs> and that really gives me the kick of the pants that I need sometimes. Like, time is short, you got to get in there and get this done. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one to put on the wall. <laughs> Um, what is something important in your life that you would like to share with the Tamily? Um, so I, I thought about this question also. I, I did some homework going back and watching some Ask Tamilies. That's why I kind of emailed a few people <laughs> recently. Like, hey, I just watched your Ask Tamilies in the interview. But um, the, uh, the Tamily is so super important to me, and I know I've already kind of touched on that, but um, you guys are the guys, the people that I'm looking at every day, that I'm talking to every day, that aren't family and aren't at work, and so um, you guys, every single one, everybody that's posting or making comments or sending emojis or um, sending messages or whatever, I mean, every single one of the family, you guys are important. You are important, too. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> um, where do you live and what do you do? I live in uh, the Dallas-Fort Worth area in Texas. Um, I'm born and raised in Texas. My whole family is from Georgia, so I have a Georgia connection, but I was born in Texas. Um, and I am an office manager in a private dental office. Um, I say office manager, <laughs> but it's a little bit misleading because I'm the only one in the office. Okay. It's not like I manage other people. <laughs> I just manage the office itself, so I'm kind of a glorified receptionist, basically. But that's probably, I don't know, there's a lot of advantages not to having to manage people. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Now, I do have, I know I talked a little bit about my ideal day and that sort of thing, um, I think a lot about um, Pam in the office, and she said something along the lines that's not like every little girl's dream to grow up and be a receptionist, right? Mm -hmm. And so it's not my dream job necessarily. I love the people that I work with and our patients, and um, it is, you know, pays the bills, obviously. <laughs> but I would like to do something else. Mm -hmm. um, I have a degree in psychology, mm -hmm. um, but it's a bachelor's. And so I can't really do a whole lot with the bachelors. Um, I wanted to go back to school, and circumstances kept me from finishing that. Um, but with all of this experience of all this exercise, workout stuff, um, I, I actually am trying to start a YouTube channel. I don't want to, like, be self-promoting myself. I haven't posted anything yet, but if you've noticed, I have a green screen behind me in my Instagram feed. Yes. <laughs> and that's because I... I um, kind of have this little dream of starting a YouTube channel just basically for fun, um, but I, we'll see. We'll see what happens. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm so glad that you announced that to us during this interview. <laughs> well, like I said, I didn't want to like self-promote myself or anything like that. I haven't started the channel. I mean, I have one reserved, but I haven't posted anything, but um, hopefully, hopefully. Uh, Miriam was asking me when am I going to put something on my green screen instead of just being a green screen. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that 2020 is the year. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> well, I should have asked you about that. I know all about green screens because my husband is a video game streamer. Awesome. Very cool. Yeah, that's, that's one of the things is learning the editing program of, and it's not just the green screen, you know, it's getting the sound and yeah. all this stuff. Um, <laughs> Definitely. Um, and so it's a, it's a lot to learn, but I I want to be a lifelong learner, so it's fun to it's fun to learn, but it also takes the time to do. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, can you tell us what your greatest takeaway has been from a previous Ask Family interview? Um, <laughs> my greatest takeaway is that um, everybody in the family is kicking butt and it's amazing because you guys, I mean, all over the map and all 
of these different careers and raising families Mm -hmm. and showing up for yourself consistently. Um, It's just the family, each individual is just so amazing. I want all of you to be my very best friend. (laughs) Um, I want to text all of you every day. Um, But I think my greatest takeaway is that the family is absolutely amazing. Yeah, I totally agree with you. I'm amazed from every single interview. Every single one. I know. (laughs) I know. Yep. And we'll keep it going, especially with the list we already had and now the list that you've given us. We've had an (laughs) endless amount of Ask Family interviews. That's awesome. I love it. I love it. I hope you guys go for years and years. I was thinking this morning about... um, that I hope you guys are thinking about doing something super special for your, like, 100th episode or something. We um, are. But, <laughs> but we would welcome any ideas that you have, for sure. Okay. I think um, I might have said at the beginning of this, 75 is going to be our last interview of 2019, so that's pretty special, obviously. But then we'll be hitting 100, you know, not that far into um, 2020. Yes, that is so awesome, yeah. you guys. Uh, I, I love it. It's crazy. Um, but it wouldn't be possible without people like you. So thank you for being such an inspirational um, 71st interview for us. Um, we do have one last question in the chat. I don't know if you're prepared for this one. Um, but Meg's TAM account ask yes. if you can tell us two truths and a lie so we can guess what the lie is. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, I've seen other people have to, um, have to go with this one and I kept thinking, what can I say? And I've already, I've already spilled the beans on a couple of the things that I have ideas about. <laughs> so, let's see. Oh, and you guys can't see me right now either. Correct. That's kind of an advantage for me. Right, that's <laughs> true. <laughs> So let's see. Um, there's one thing I haven't spilled the beans on yet. I, I, I also thought about um, is it good for me to test people and see if they've been watching my my feed to you a little bit? So um, let's see. about Catherine Ross and how mm-hmm. super smoking hot she is. <laughs> um, 
I don't know if anybody's watching Star Wars Mandalorian, but if you are, there was a new episode yesterday, um, and they introduced the character um, that's played by Gina, and I can't think of her last name offhand. Mm -hmm. um, but anyway, she's playing the character Cara Dune, and every time I see Cara Dune, I think of Catherine Ross, but Catherine Ross is hotter, so. Oh my gosh. That's not out there. Well, I'm sure I will have to watch that show later because that's why my husband got Disney Plus. <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. I love the surprise at the end of the first episode. No spoilers, mm -hmm. um, but I, I absolutely loved it. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, thank you very much, Paula, for your interview. We're at one minute until Instagram cuts us off, so. Um, before that happens, is there any last word that you would want to share with the family during this interview? I do. Um, so, in my last moment, I wanted to thank you, Tam and Suzanne, because you're amazing, you're super friendly, I know this was super frustrating <laughs> to try and get on all the technical issues worked out, um, but you're so amazing at, at doing these interviews and making people feel comfortable. And then Nicole, um, she's amazing, getting these technical issues worked out. And um, I love that you guys started Ask Tamily. And I want to encourage everybody to support Ask Tamily. Um, go watch it on YouTube and make comments and subscribe and do all that stuff so that um, Suzanne and Nicole know how much we love them. Oh, thank you so much, Paula. We really, really oh, appreciate boy. you. Yes, you guys are awesome. You're awesome. Thank you for sharing with us and being our 71st interview. And everybody have a great weekend. We love you, Tamily. Thank you so much for having me. Bye, Tamily. Thank you. Bye, Paula.